Hey guys, Diko here. Today I'm going to show you the most compact 3x3 hidden door. It is 8 high and 4 wide and 9 long. So that gets to a total volume of 288 blocks, which is very, very compact. And yeah, let's just, it works in both orientations, so let's just see it in action. So yeah, they both work just fine. And yeah, so I took took off one block from the top, as you can see right here, and I took off one block from the bottom. So as you can see, the bottom piston of your double extender is directly in the floor. So yeah, let's start off right now. So once you have this platform, which is, and this is going to be your door, and so you need to dig a 4x9 platform of 2 deep. And just place the double extender right underneath the door. And yeah, just make a doorway. Well, just the bottom before just this part. And then place piston right there and right there. And a block right there. Then you want to have repeaters right there and there and there. But all on one tick. A repeater right there. And um, one right there on two, and one right there on three ticks. Then, then, finally one right there on four ticks. So that's all the repeaters. Then this is going to be your input block. Then, so I'm just starting with the first layer with the repeaters and the redstone. Just place two blocks right there with the redstone all the way like that, and then block this off. So you can actually make your floor like that and then what you want to have is redstone right there repeater block and then redstone and then a block in front of this repeater with the redstone on top and a um yeah so yeah i'm just doing the first layer then i'm in front of this repeater a block with the torch on the side and then from this redstone here you want to have a repeater on three ticks Let's say block in front. Now what you want to do is come around to here and place a block with the torch on top and then redstone right here and right there. Place a regular piston or well it can actually be a sticky piston but regular piston is just a bit more survival friendly and place sand on top and then just place block right there with the redstone on the top and then actually delete this and place a sticky piston facing upwards right there with the block on top so now this block will actually be down here whenever the dog extender fires and I believe I have seen this dog extender before I just don't know who built it um, well yeah it's just very very useful in this case because it's so compact um, yeah, so that's basically it for the bottom. Let's test it out. So it extends. And it just retracts like that. Then we can start placing our side pistons. So on both sides, you want to place a block on top of this one, and then just two pistons like that, and make it 2 by 3 and then do that on the other side too. So block right there and then right there. And then six pistons like that. So those pistons are placed two blocks from the floor. Then facing to the dull extender, you want to have sticky pistons in front with blocks. Same on this side. And then, well, that's the pistons on the side. Now what you want to do is come around to this block here, place a torch, block on top, and then another torch, and another block. And then here, just exactly the same. 
And then from those torches, you want to have a repeater on four ticks. Go into a block with redstone on top and underneath. And then a block right there. That block is very, very important. And then just do the exact same thing on this side, except that this has to be a slab. So, repeater on four ticks, block in front, redstone, redstone there, and then the block right there. So what this will do is, it'll extend all those pistons. And it now looks like this. So, we're almost there. Um, you wanna build your wall, kinda, and have this here. Then you wanna place block right there, and then two sticky pistons facing downwards, right there, with a sticky piston facing that way, right there, the block in front. Then just fill up your ceiling and your wall right here. Oh. Now what you want to do is come around to this torch with the input, place your redstone on top with a half slab right there. Well, should that no, it can just be a block. And then two half slabs to the side, all with the redstone. Place a repeater on one tick with the block in front and then the redstone right there. Then place a block right there, block right there, and the redstone right there. So what this will do is yeah basically it'll well almost close the door um, basically what's happening up here is first it'll extend this piston which will make sure that there will actually be a piston arm in the way which will make sure that this piston here cannot extend in this position so this piston will extend first then on the other side we're gonna have a block no, redstone and then half slab and half slab right there and then also a half slab on this side then place a yeah so feel that kind of shape and place repeat on one and two then a row of blocks block right there and then a repeater on three ticks one tick and redstone so that should be your whole door done let's just check it out So it's closed and it's open so yeah thanks for watching uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time